Greetings friends, it's a good morning for me on a sunny Saturday and I would like to show you and tell you a little bit more details about yesterday's live stream from Monolith regarding dead threads and how exactly these have been changed compared to Shadow of Mordor. Monolith hosted another live stream yesterday to show and tell a little bit more about the various scenarios and possibilities that Middle-earth Shadow of War is going to offer us in regards to sending dead threads to orcs. The feature has been expanded and upgraded considerably compared to what was possible in Shadow of Mordor. And in this video I would like to share some of my notes that I've taken from the live stream. The live stream was just about an hour long and if you have that time available to spend there is a link to the full archive in the video description just in case you've missed it yesterday. You cannot death thread an overlord as he is still in the fortress at the time that you are allowed to still perform that operation on enemies. You cannot issue a death threat to a follower of yours. Death threat will make the target orc gain 5 levels and this can be done to all tiers of enemies including the legendary ones. Death threat doesn't prevent you from recruiting the orc after you have beaten them in the mission. Just pick recruit instead of kill. It won't grant you the cool loot but it will allow you to earn a new follower that is now 5 levels higher than what it was earlier. If you skip a death threat mission, the orc may make fun of you <laughs> and will eventually keep getting stronger with time passing. You can later send another death threat that will raise the orc's level with another 5. This can be useful strategy to make a certain type of an enemy higher level to uh, then kill or brand it for achievement or an objective. For example, they showed some legendary items during the live stream that can be upgraded and remember that you can upgrade legendary items multiple times as opposed to epic items which only can be upgraded once. So you can perform a certain action or complete a specific objective in order to upgrade that. This specific objective could be kill an orc that is X level or higher. Death threat issuing is a perfect way for you to level up that orc before you kill it. If a captain survives a death threat, he will remember that and remind you next time you meet. But that's nothing new, of course, the nemesis system is good with that. If you issue a death threat to an epic enemy, he won't become necessarily a legend. Transferring an orc from epic to legendary depends on how deep history you have with him, as well as on a number of other variables and scenarios. Captains with a death threat can still cheat death after being defeated during the mission. You cannot set a follower of yours to execute your death threat mission, but you can place that um, uh, follower as a bodyguard to help you. If you issue a death threat to an unknown captain, you won't reveal all about him but just the tier 1, that's what they call the tier 1 knowledge, which involves level, rarity and the strong sides of the captain, but not the weaknesses, which is actually the important part. And here are a few more miscellaneous notes that I picked up and I think they are worth mentioning, but they are not exactly 100% related to the death threats. Legendary gear can be upgraded as I've mentioned earlier many times, and it can stay with Talion and with you of course until the very end of the game, unlike the epic items which can only be upgraded one time. There is still a, a number of RNG, a level of RNG involved in the legendary items, which means that it's not exactly the first legendary item that you find and like the appearance of, because the items do actually bring different appearance on Talion. Uh, it's not the first one that will serve you until the very end, you have to still farm and find the perfect one for your build. When you exploit or interact with an orc's weaknesses, the effect is more like a nudge, it's not a 100% guaranteed effect that's going to absolutely happen over the time. Stealth kill can be done when the orc is terrified and running from you. Killing it from behind in this moment counts as a stealth kill. This is a slightly different mechanic and behavior compared to Shadow of Mordor and um, I believe it will allow you to perform stealth kills much easier. There is no inventory weight in the game. Now this was a little bit strange for me because I didn't expect that there would be inventory weight which probably means that Talion is capable of uh, collecting limitless number of items 
that's still interesting for me to earn i haven't been able to find any more solid information on that if you have it feel free to provide it down in the comments below in case you haven't heard shadow of war is scheduled to be released on 10th of october and i've already pre-ordered it if you haven't pre-ordered your copy but you would like to do that i have a few offers for you uh, they contain my affiliate links and if you use it you help me out thank you that's it for today's video i hope you found it useful if not well there is always more information coming and i hope that you will find what you're looking for either on my channel if you subscribe of course and use the bell icon to receive all notifications for my future videos and as well you can also read most of my content available on vogue.com thank you guys see you next time Thank you for watching, I hope you have enjoyed the video. 